We've set a trap at this house in Long Beach, California to catch money mule scammers that steal money from old people. This man thinks he's going to an old man's house to pick up $23,000 in cash stolen from a Microsoft virus pop-up scam. But the cash is fake, the old man is really me, and instead of a payday, he's about to receive a very ugly wake-up call. I have f***ing all right to be a part of my family. I'm just gonna f bail him out. Go put him in the jail. Today's scammer calls himself Andrew. Andrew is a cash mule for tech support scammers, meaning he's responsible for collecting stolen money from a scam victim and then forwarding that money back to the scam bosses in India for a percentage. This particular tech support scam is a virus pop-up scam, where you get these phony virus alerts on your computer after clicking on some bad link, urging you to call in for tech support to get your computer unlocked. This scam operates mainly from India, where a scammer in a call center will use fear tactics to charge you for tech support that you didn't need, and in many cases will blackmail vulnerable victims for large amounts of money by convincing them that illegal things were found on their computer. They'll get the victim to pay in gift cards, wire transfers, or in many cases, cold, hard cash. Our undercover informant, Agent 69, has infiltrated many of these groups online, where scammers communicate and where cash mules are hired. He himself is pretending to be a scam boss seeking a cash mule in Long Beach, California to pick up $23,000 from an old man named Chris Hammer. The mission here is threefold. We first want to confront this cash mule and expose him in order to remove him from the cash mule circuit. When scam bosses lose resources, they lose money. It's also one less person to steal money from your grandmother. Second, we want to gain as much intel as possible about how this cash mule was hired. Even though the boss in this case is our Agent 69, there are still tons of ranks of guilty scammers in between boss and mule. Scammers will create as many degrees of separation as possible from themselves to the victims in order to keep things untraceable back to them. It's not uncommon for an Indian scam group to use a Chinese mafia group to facilitate the fraud. Scam baiters see this every week. Scammers will give them a bank account to wire money to that's in Bangkok. His name is Wang Daddy. Wang Daddy. So let's say Agent 69 is hiring asshole number one for a cash pickup. Well, in most cases, asshole number one isn't going to himself show up to a specific address, in this case, Long Beach, California. There could be asshole two, three, and four working under him, all using their own individual networks of mules to get somebody there face-to-face -face in Long Beach, California. And third, and probably most importantly, is to arm the public with knowledge about not just how these scams operate, but how common they are. It's happening all around us all the time, and most people don't even realize. This is the weirdest ever happened to us, but you're gonna witness as we witnessed. Too good. This is too good right now. <laughs> hey, hello, pretty lady. What are you doing here? I got some cash for you over here. So if you're the mule, and you're over there. <laughs> it's funny you just took off. <laughs> Agent 69 said like, okay, uh, cash mule on his way, he gonna pick up this package, he gonna say that he's FedEx, right? He gonna show up, get money from the victim, pretend to be FedEx and Microsoft uh, support, Microsoft pop-up. What time is it? Okay, should get Connor on a call? 12.53. Should just have Connor on a constant call right now. Okay, I had a car drive by pretty slow. Okay, stand by everybody. The car is driving um, very slow. Is it approaching our house? It did pass by. It looked like they were pointing at something, but now they're turning left down there. Yeah, keep an eye on this car and see if any people or activities from this car are approaching. Okay, it also looks like there is a white car behind me. The headlights are on. They're just parked like two cars back. Okay. Did they park just recently? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The headlights are still on. No one's gotten out of the car. Maybe they tr maybe um I hope that's our cash mills and they're trying to figure out which house and stuff like that. All right, keep an eye on this car. Okay. Um Agent 69 is back. Okay. Agent 69 is giving us live updates um via text because Agent 69 is pretending to be the boss who is coordinating with the cash mule, the cash mule that knows damn well what he's doing, picking up stolen cash on behalf of a Microsoft scam at this old man's house. Been rolling. 
We are ready to go, and Agent 69 has just told us that the cash mule is almost there. Andrew is the guy name. He's there. Okay, so he's, he's here. He's here? Yeah, he's here. Hold on. Make sure Connor knows that. We have no idea who's going to show up or what's going to happen. Connor. Yeah. Yeah, so they're saying that cash mule is here. His name is Andrew. He's going to be that guy that yeah, probably. The only thing we know for certain is that this cash mule is not getting a payday today. And that would be true every day if everyone simply used Guardio, our one and only exclusive security partner here at Trilogy Media, who supply the best real-time internet browsing protection that you can possibly find. It's like having an invisible bodyguard for your browser that's looking out for you 24-7 as you browse the web. Any link you click, any, any website you visit, any file you download is scanned by Guardio in real time and blocked immediately if there's anything malicious. Preventing a scam is a thousand times easier than undoing a scam. Malware is being spread in new ways every single day that continue to baffle even the top cybersecurity experts in the world. But Guardio is up to date about every single new threat that arises online, catching new vulnerabilities every single day, even before Facebook and Google do. Every single threat that comes from the internet starts in your browser. The browser is the doorway for scammers and hackers. Why in the world would you not have security there? If you lock your front door at night, you should have Guardio in your browser. You can try it seven days completely free and get a massive discount by using our link, which is guard.io slash trilogy. Get a free browser scan right now to see what vulnerabilities might be in your Chrome browser as we speak. Use guard.io slash trilogy. It's also linked in the description below for you to get that discount. And if you have an extra moment, come join our brand new Facebook group that we just created in partnership with Guardio. It's called Looks Fishy and is a group dedicated to scam awareness and sharing tips and stories to increase public knowledge. Our emails are inundated every single week with people sharing their scam stories and their scam tips. And it's truly heartbreaking because in most cases we can't do anything. But now as a team, we can all put these stories and tips to use. Come say hi. The link to the Facebook group is in the description below. I'll see you there. We yeah, all... I think he's this guy, a white car. Okay. Another white car. <laughs> Dude, we got like four. Imagine if that will be the same fucker with the same plates number. Oh my God. Is it a Honda? Is it Honda? Honda Civil War? <laughs> Oh my God, if it's the same guy. Can you imagine, Ash? <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna choke him. You gotta check the license plate. I'm gonna choke that bitch. Hey, hey, another car just pulled up fast. Another car just pulled up right in front of you. Right in front, okay. Okay, uh, Ash, rock and roll. Huh? Good luck, rock and roll. There is a car pull, pull. Actually, no, 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 he's gone, he's gone. It's gone? Oh, is shit. the white car still there? We're good. White is car is still there front? with the, with the yeah, blink? White, white car is still here. Okay, um, guys, the mule is near the big door. He's saying, what is big door? Big door? Big door. No, I'm looking at the door. There's no, no one's there. There is no one. No one by the front door. You don't see anybody on the side door? Any activities from back door? No. Nothing. Nothing on the side door. Nothing on a neighbor's house. Okay. Like lights are on. I can't really tell if somebody's in there, but like no one's gotten out, so. That's gotta be him. Yeah. But there's definitely no, uh, not even like a person walking around anywhere. Okay, he said, okay, wait, we were saying it's a gated society. No. He's at the end of the road. You saw a gated community uh -huh. down there? He's at the other end of the road. The gated community, this dead ends into a gated community. Yes. At the end of the road. All right, somebody's pulling up. We're turning around. Okay. Is it a different car or the same white car? Yeah, it's a different car. It's okay. It's a gray car. All right, hold on. He parked. Can you hear the uh, the parking noise, right? The brake. There was a dog. There's a bunch of kids. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, who's getting slaughtered outside? Okay, he sent me this, that gated community. Do you recognize anything like this? I didn't get that close. You know what? Hold on. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Okay, share to banana pants. I'm gonna send you a text message. Tell me yeah. if you recognize this. Please uh, send us um, gated community. 
No, that doesn't. I don't think I know that. They never just park the car and come up to the door and knock. It's always either the scammer tells you that he's outside and you want he wants you to poke your head out or or the mule doesn't want to come up to the door he wants to he wants to see you first or 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 he'll sit in his car for a long period of time. So we have Connor watching the outside. He can see what's going on. But again, with us not physically seeing what's going on outside, all we can go on is what Connor is telling us in the moment. Guys. Okay, yes. What? There's a guy in the white Mercedes, he had a mask on. Mask on? He just, he just drove by the house, yeah. Was it mask he, on? Yeah, he turned around. Yeah, he has a mask on. What kind of he mask? He turned around. Like like when you br rob a bank? Yeah. Like rob a bank mask? Yeah, but, oh. but, but then he turned left. Um, Who drives the car with the masks? Like a f ski mask? You're talking about the ski mask? Yeah, like a, like a bandana or something. Not, not like a ski mask. Like a but the white car that had been sitting there with the headlights on, that guy had a covering over his face? Yeah, yeah. And he turned left That's down okay. the street, so now I can't see him. That's okay. What's going on? So, uh, there is a guy in a white Mercedes driving, and he has a mask on. So he went over there at the end of the street, and uh, Agent 69 sent this base that's the gated community at the end so yeah yeah oh guys guys someone outside okay okay go, 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 go. he's walking on the street ash gets ready good luck yeah i'm ready he walked a little bit away from the house he's looking around He's walking away down the street. Agent 69 saying, boss him, bro. Don't let him go. His name is Andrew. He's coming back. He's coming back. Okay. Okay, don't talk, okay? I'm going to put you on mute. Yeah. No, put yourself on mute, I mean. So you can listen to me. Yeah. And keep us updated. Hey, there's two of them. Hashtag, there is two people. Oh, f I know. It's okay. If so, I will go through the side door. I got you. Motherfuckers. Okay, if we're gonna separate it, I'm gonna run, chase one. You guys get another one. Mm -hmm. Get the opposite of the, get the opposite of guy. Let's fucking rock and roll. Let's have some threesome. Did you just want me to stay there? Yes. Yes. No, 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 you, you don't move. I'm, I'm not moving. Well, I'm going to move backwards behind you. Yeah. Up. Banana pants, anything else? No, I'm just... I'm trying to hide from... this guy in the white car. He parked right in front of me. So there is one driver... Did you think you say there is one driver and there is one passenger? Yeah, one driver, one passenger. But they walked... They walk down the street again, so I don't know what they're doing. The driver is just pulled over on the side of the road, and I can't see the passenger right now. But he's down the street somewhere. Yeah, Agent 69 saying, be patient. He's already around watching the environment. Here. Banana pants, see if you can get the pl plates number of the car of this white Mercedes. In case if in case if driver gonna drive away and uh, we're gonna deal with um, only with the passenger. So see if you can get the plates number. Yeah. Alright. Okay, the, the, they're pulling out. Okay, um Agent 69 saying yes, it's two people. They will pretend they don't know, but they do it regularly. So it's bad guys. 
Okay, all right. All right, bad guys. Bad boy, bad boy, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Come to daddy. I'm gonna show you bad boy. This car, so important. Yes, okay. he sent me this. That's our house. That is our house? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Connor. They've been filming our house. Yeah. Are they're not out front, correct? No. They just sent me, um, Agent 69 just sent me a video of front of our house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so a f***er's been filming. They've been filming. Yeah. Um, that guy still might be down towards the end of the street right now. Or his friend might have picked him up. Uh, but yeah, they went down the street to the right. So they might be coming up like on Do we have, um, to the right for you guys. Okay. They asking me to open the door and don't let him run. He's telling to open the door. Hey, Agent 69 saying, open the door, the front door. What? Why? They, are, they are already been filming our house. They've been f***ing snooping around. That's, um, that's our f***ing house. They've been snooping around. Tell them, tell them the guy's old. And yeah, okay. Okay. The guy is old and door is unlocked. Oh, they're pulling it. They're pulling it now. They're pulling it right now. It's two guys that have made Amazon. Okay. They're thugs. Thugs, yeah. yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, this could be dangerous, guys. Stand by. Alright, they're coming up. Somebody came up to the door, and I can't remember, I don't think they knocked. I think I could hear motion out in the front. Should we close the door? Great. Me always telling to open the door and come out, and come out a little bit. Me always telling to open the door. Shit, I don't think I should. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, the door's open here. Come on in. Come on in. Doors open! Don't talk. Hello? Yeah. Open the door! Open the, you can open the door here! You're walking away. I get back in the car. Come on in! They're, they're backing up, they're backing up. Ashton, go to the door. Go to the door. Ashton, Ashton go to the door. Go to the door. Go to the door fast. Oh. Are they still here? Yeah, he pulled away. Hey! They pulled away? Yeah. Hello? Have 69 tell the, the mules, the guys at the door right now. And by the time I got my head out, out in the front door and to look outside, there was nobody there. Do you see him? Connor, do you see that one? No, they, they turned away. With a car, two of them. No, just one, just one person actually. In the car where he's walking. Someone's coming back. Someone's coming back. Okay. And as soon as he left, 
Agent 69 said like, hey, my guy is coming. So the guy that I've been baiting on these uh, private telegram groups, cash mule criminal, he's coming right now. Oh! I left the door partially open and I returned to my seat as Mortimer and somebody came to the door again. What's extra terrifying about all this though is that it wasn't the same person and I didn't know that. I thought the guy had come up to the door, maybe knocked or made some noise, walked away and got skittish, and then maybe saw the door open or saw me and then came back. Come to find out when we were reviewing the footage later, it was two completely different people. From FedEx. From FedEx? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good, sir. Is this from the Microsoft? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's so oh, shit. It's supposed to be cash for you, right? Here. Oh, oh shit. can you help me? Yeah. Help me out here. Help. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, is this for the Microsoft? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, pop up here. I'm from the FedEx. Oh, you work for the FedEx? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I uh, get you a glass of water or anything? Water? Water, do you want some no, water? No, no, thank you. No, I'm good. All right. All right, so uh, how much are you supposed to get? Put here. 23. 23. Yeah. Mortimer dropped the money and um, he got KY gel on his hand. And this guy, freaking criminal, picking up the cash, putting everything together. And yet again, for those that are that are making the claim that these mules don't fully understand what they're doing and to be fair sometimes they don't but when they walk in like this guy and they identify themselves as being from fedex as he did there's no mistaking that he knows exactly what he's doing is wrong uh, it was uh my uh, uh my uh, i'm supposed to have my natasha uh stopping by today um but i don't know uh, when she's coming hey what's going on stop right there yeah. wait wait all right. What's going on, buddy? What's happening over here with your mask? That's always a very defining moment in these confrontations is the first five seconds when they see Art and the camera crew is what are they going to do? And you can usually tell in those first five to ten seconds how the rest of this is going to play out. Put your mask down. Stand up, have a seat. Put your mask down. What's happening? What's happening? Put your mask down. We'll explain it. Have, have, a seat. Seat. have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. We'll explain what's going on. Yeah. What's it? Yeah. Have a seat. Have We're going to talk. $23,000 from an old man. Got to be f***ing kidding me. Uh -huh. What happened, sir? You just got f***ing busted. You tell us oh, what's going what? on. What are you doing Goodbye. here? Huh? For what? For what? For, For what? F***ing picking up money from victims. $23,000. Show me your, show show me your FedEx ID. Don't, me. Go f don't give me a f***ing shit. Show, show me, me your, your, ID. your FedEx what ID. What is your ID? You work for FedEx? Show me your f***ing FedEx ID. your FedEx employment information. We're here. Mm -hmm. This is a sting operation to catch money laundering and international. Yeah. Show me your f***ing ID right now. Do you work for FedEx? Or is that bullshit? What is that FedEx ID? Not your phone. Wait, Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Okay, okay, okay. The phone down. Put the phone down. Okay, Turn off. Turn off your f***ing phone. I'm turning Turn off your phone. Turn off your phone. I am turning it off, sir. Why are you... Tech support something was calling. No, you're not. Sales support. Uh -huh. Guarantee, guarantee sales payout. <laughs> that must be the telegram. So what's that for telegram? Guaranteed tax, tax sales payout. Oh, dude, you, dude, you. Can I explain something to you? All okay, right. we Go can ahead. do this with police no right now because we got them on standby, or you can just have a conversation with us. Yes, sir. Sure. You have a conversation. Then no, please no. take your mask and have a seat. Sir, can you please? Put your f***ing mask down, you f***ing scammer piece of shit. Mask down. I am not a scammer. Yes, you yes, are. Yes, you are. You work for scammers and you collect f***ing money from all the little people. Let's just talk about FedEx for a second, because this is the first thing you told me you work for FedEx, and that's not true, right? That's what they told me. No. What, do you work for FedEx, yes or no? No. Then why did you tell me you work for FedEx? Because the guy 
Who what if this is the guy? What do you mean a guy? What guy? You do this every day? Just I work for who? Whoever no, tells sir, me how I, I work for? I, I am a very poor guy. I don't do this. Where do you live? I live in Canada. This guy claims that he doesn't even live in the United States. He lives in Canada. Citizen of Canada came to Los Angeles for a wedding. He going to Las Vegas to a bachelor party for a wedding. And he literally passing by from our neighbors Canada to America. And while he's on vacation, robbing elderly person. What are you doing in Los Angeles? I came to visit. So one of the friends of mine from India, he called me up. And I got... I your friend from India? I don't know anything about these things. What do you mean you don't know anything about these things? You knew... You knew how much money was supposed to be in there. You knew it was a yeah, Microsoft. Because, because you knew it was saying, Microsoft because I asked you about it. Message. I can show you everything. I want to see all of it. I, I can show you that. Do you know what this is and what you're doing? Who I, your I friend in no, India I, is? I have no he's idea. a bullshit. scammer. You f***ing bullshit. I don't buy it, but so he's I'm a scammer. I'm not lying. Yes, We're talking right now to India who f***ing actually send you this bullshit information. This is sting house operation and you've been doing this for a while. You've been collecting this money. Sir, sir let me tell you, I'm not doing anything. You're sitting in the house. It, can you can't it. tell me you're not doing anything. You're sitting in the house. Yes, I understand that, sir. What it's brought my, you it's, here? It's my, it's my biggest mistake that I did. Yes, you got that round. We expose scammers. So whoever is in India that you're talking to is stealing money from old people using a fake pop-up scam. You ever heard of that? I'm going to, you know, just block him and not going to talk The person to who him. called you, the username is guaranteed money, money sign, tech scam. The number who just called you, you know it's a scam and it's a guarantee money for you because you cash, pick up, mule. Sir, I don't do that. I, yes, you What? You, you're f***ing inside of the house. Forgive me. Forgive me? you asking for forgiveness from a wrong f***ing person. What, where are you a citizen? Are you a citizen here or in Canada? No, I'm uh, in Canada. So how did you get in America? I came to visit here. How? How'd you get through? I'm a tourist here. Tourist visa? Yeah. Okay. So you're now, not only are you violating your tourist visa so by trying to make a living, why, that's why, that's why but you're also committing saying, international wire fraud and money fraud by picking up cash from old men. Listen to him! I'm sorry. Stop talking for a second. People like this are getting stolen from... Absolutely not. People like this are getting stolen from every single f***ing day. Old I men, shut, sh just be quiet. For, li this is your time to listen. Because the, the next few minutes is going to dramatically impact the rest of your life about whether we go to cops or what's going to happen right now. Please. Listen, okay, shut what your mouth. you're doing is illegal, okay? Old grandpas in their homes by themselves are getting abused, are getting visited by people like you claiming to be FedEx, getting their life savings stolen right out from under them. I don't want to, sir, take you, you what wouldn't. you just did, you just did. Sir, they just, he, he's a... Who's, who's with you, by the way, out there? Who else is with you? Nobody. Who else just, is with you? He's just one of my cousins. So he's nobody okay. but he's your cousin? He's, your one of my he's in the car? Yeah. Hey, Connor, do you see that uh, white Mercedes? No, I actually don't see it. Okay, so they, go ahead and come on in, right, Connor? It's not white Mercedes, sir. Okay, so we're, we're, we've been we're, watching you through this whole time. We know what you've been driving. We know yeah, everything. You send videos of the house as you walk by. You walk by, you took video of the house, and you're sending it to your scammer cousin in India. We, we know what you're doing. We've been watching you ever since you entered the zip code. Okay, so don't say you don't, you don't know what you're doing. So I, I, made a video, I made a video, I sent him, but I... Let's see it. Send who? To the guy. Which guy? To the guy who was sent me. Oh, of the house. Yeah. Okay, so and who is that guy who sent you over here? So the Indian guy. Okay. Who's the Indian guy? I know his name. His name is Vinny. That's Vinny? Vinny. What's his real name? I don't know that. So some guy you don't even know his name is giving you instructions from all around the other side of the globe to show up at old men's houses and steal cash out from under them. How, how, does, how is any of that believable? I did not know that it was like this. He just said, that, you know, can, can you do me a favor? A favor. So they, uh, how much what? you... What is your cut from this? Sorry? What? How much? He told me I, I'm going to give you $500. $500? Yeah. And how many, don't lie, how many times have you done this? Sir, this is the Don't just lie to me. Sir, I'm talking right now, I'm talking right now with India and they said that you've been constantly picking up your money. That's how you do sir, your living. Sir, believe me, this is the first time. Believe you? Andrew. Your name Andrew? No. Yes. My name is, my name is Inder. What is it? What is your ID? Inder. Inder? 
I N D E R. Tinder, show me your ID. Yeah, sir, you have. What is your ID? You have my phone. Phone's over no, there. No, phone over there, but you're supposed to have your driver license, anything? Okay, sure. What is sticking out from this pocket? This one, what is it? This one? Yeah, what do we have this? No, it's just a lighter. What is it? Lighter. That's not a lighter. No, the other thing. No, the other thing, what is this? It's okay. And last one thing? I think that's it. This pocket? You don't carry any ID at all. On no ID? There is no ID, uh, identification. So you're an immigrant nothing? making illegal money and you have no identification Sir, on you. I, I, it's like I'm three red you, flags in a row. I'm now. telling you, to be very frank with you, I, am, I have no idea that this was being done and I don't want to get into any problem or anything. You're oh, already, you're already yeah, getting into it. Oh, yeah, you're already get getting into it. This isn't work though. This I, isn't I, work. This is, this is robbery. This is theft. I don't want to do that. Well, you <laughs> should have thought this. about that before you threw up. Look at this. T sales, guarantee sales. Look at this. Look at this. Guaranteed tech call. sales payout. What language do you speak with them? In English. That's not going to work. Not I can work. speak with them in English if you want. In front of you. I love these guarantee sales. Uh, that's how they put. They put. We have to change I'm, the I'm, name I'm, of the group now. Oh wow! It's not so guaranteed anymore. Where's Connor? Bring him in here. I don't know. That's a good, is he on the phone? Connor, get in here. Yeah. Yeah, come on in. All right, I'm coming in. Maybe your cousin will, uh... You Guaranteed know, sales. Actually gonna actually going to come and help you. So, let, let, me just, let me just lay yeah. out the facts right now, and then Sir, you can I'm take it from here. All the things, in fact, I I'm going to give you... Okay, well, I'm going to tell you some facts now, okay? We are Trilogy Media. We're an organization that exposes scammers. We are not law enforcement. We're not holding you here against your will. But we are exposing and shaming and raising awareness about how these scams but, work. But we just... I'm not done. That's how this works. We blast this out to millions of people all over the world so they know and they can protect their grandparents, just like the ones you just tried to steal from, okay? So that's what we're doing here. That's what we're here for. We're obviously not holding you against your will. We're not able to do that. Ask him. Huh? How to take the picture? Say again? Can you please ask him not to take the picture? No, absolutely not. Can you, you don't, on his face? Yeah, you can do a closer up now. You don't get to dictate requests right now. We already got everything. This is going to be blasted out to a lot of people. Everyone's going to know that you are associated with this scam. Okay. So you're going to you, be famous. We're going to make you famous. What you can do right now is you can leave, or you can give us some information that can actually back up what you're claiming. You're claiming you had no idea. You're claiming that this is all an accident. So prove it to me, and make it convincing. Otherwise, I'm going to run with all this footage and I'm going to blast it out to the media and to the world, and they're all going to know that this guy is a scammer in Los Angeles. Sir, I am not the scammer. Let me let me show you my ID and everything. I Let's see it. Whatever. Yeah, your phone's right there. I am not lying to you. If, you if, send, I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna see you... The your minute you send a text or a, or tell them something in Hindi to tip them off, then this That's is all over. Nothing, then nothing, then nothing. We're, we're gonna run with what we have and right. we, we are gonna make the worst assumptions that we can about your intentions here. Yeah, and no. police is still coming. What? What is... Where, where are you going? Put it back. Go back. What is your ID? Show me your Canadian ID, Mr. Uh, UPS guy. Okay. This is my ID. This is your ID. Go back. Come back. Yeah. Okay, then. I have come as a tourist. I'm going to show you. Show me. Hold on. Hold on. Tourist. It's okay. I'm going to give you back. Don't Stay worry about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got it on. Counter's got it. Mm -hmm. I am innocent. I don't do anything. You not innocent. Well, we're going to let law enforcement figure that one out. Okay. Right. The courts yeah. will figure that out. Okay. What we please do is we collect do information. Please. please don't do it. Why? Please don't do that. So you're okay to walk into the house of 70-year-old man Get 23,000, get your, how much is it like? How much, let me see. How much do you need? You need 500, here is 500. Yeah. There is a thousand for you. How much? 500? This is money, it's supposed to be fucking blood money. Blood money. Something that old man like him, instead of him supposed to be old man, wiping off the saving account, checking account, and give it to you. Sir. So you will take 500 and you're gonna fuck off back to Canada? Sir, I am not doing that. I have come here. You came here to get money from elderly person. You work for scamming organization. You're f criminal. You're working for criminal and you're getting caught. I, I did not know that. That's this is... You, okay, here we go. Please, please. Check this out. I'm gonna tell you just like this. Hello. Agent 69. Yeah. Yeah, so we're sitting right now with a Canadian citizen who came to pick up $23,000, right, for pop-up scam. And he was supposed to get paid $500 and he's claiming to be innocent and this is his first time and he didn't know what he's doing. Uh, ask 
Oh, he's in front of you. He, Agent 69, he's in front he can, of you. He you can hear speaker. you. He can hear you. Talk to him. All right. So, hi, Andrew. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? You're good, right? Yeah. So, you are a Canadian citizen? Yes, sir. I'm coming from uh, here. First of all, my, my question to you is that how do you know that uh, this is the house from here? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let him finish. Let him finish. Who guided you? Uh, my question is to you that how do you know that you are going to pick up this much of cash and you are not knowing that uh, what is this cash for? Sir, uh, I got a message from this guy that I know. He has sent me a message with all the complete details. Like you need to pick up uh, yes. this much from this address. And this is and the... What was your benefit? What was your benefit? Uh, he just... What was your benefit? What was your benefit? I can give you $500. I said, oh, it's all right. I can do that. Uh, 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 city, I, I can do that. Uh, uh, so whether it's illegal or legal, you didn't ask him? Sir, I, I did not ask him. Uh, and you are trying to be innocent here. Bro, so, I, I, literally, I literally deal hundreds of scammers daily. With hundreds of scammers I am dealing daily. Sir, and I know you. Sir, you are dealing sensitive. Sir, I I, it's, it's been just more or less than a week I have come here. And I have come to, uh, you know, visit California. Not for any other thing. So you have these apples. He sounds like an Indian guy. You sounds like an Indian guy. He speaks uh, Hindi. I, I, yeah, I, he speaks Hindi. He speaks Hindi. Agent sixty nine. Why Hindi? Aati hai tumhe? Hanji, bhai aati hai. Aati hai to tum bhai ye batao. Hanji. Ki tum wahan ja kar ke yehi kaam kar rahe ho. Bhai, main yahan pe ghumne ke liye aaya tha, aur mere ko main photos wagera dal raha tha Facebook pe, Instagram pe. So mere ko mere ek friend ka message aaya ki mere ek friend hai aage. उसका एक काम है इफ यू कैन डू दैट मैंने बोला कि मेरे को आज घूमने जाना है आगे लास वेगस सो मेरे को तो पता ही नहीं था मेरे को तो अब यहाँ पर आकर के ये पता लगा इन्होंने भी जो पूछा मैंने इनको बता दिया क्योंकि तो मेरा तो मैं तो नॉर्मल नाइन टू फाइव जॉब करने वाला बंदा हूँ वो मेरे को बता था बोलता आप लेकर के आओ मैं आपको दो घंटे बाद बताऊंगा सिर्फ एक इंडियन की हेल्प करने के चक्कर में उसने बोला मैंने कहा चल ठीक है किसी का काम अगर करा देंगे तो आपको पता है इंडिया में क्या होता है इससे मेरी फोन पर बात होती है इसको कभी मैं मिला नहीं ये मेरे को ये मेरे को एक बार वहाँ क्लब में मिला था मैं दिल्ली से हूँ तो मेरे को महीपालपुर में मिला था ये वर ही सेइंग एजेंट सिक्सटी नाइन वर ही सेइंग ही सेइंग दैट समवन हैज सेंट हिम ही इज देयर ऑन ए टू वीज़ और समथिंग यप लाइक या ही इज इनोसेंट ही इज रेडी टू हेल्प आई एम टेलिंग हिम दैट इफ यू आर इनोसेंट जस्ट हेल्प मी टू गेट द मेन गाय डोंट प्ले एनी सस्पेंशियस गेम्स एट ऑल भाई उसको पता नहीं लगना चाहिए भाई बिल्कुल भी पता लगेगा मैं आप जैसे बोलोगे मैं वैसे करूंगा एकदम तुमको एक्ट ऐसे ही करना है देखो भाई हम लोग मेन चोर को पकड़ना चाहते हैं भाई मैं भी यही चाहता हूं कि देखो मेरे मेरी सिर्फ एक रिक्वेस्ट है आपसे कि मेरे को कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो क्योंकि मैं फर्स्ट टाइम आया हूं और मैं प्रॉब्लम नहीं और मैं आगे भी आगे भी आना चाहता हूं ये फोटोज भी ले रहे हैं वीडियोस भी बना रहे हैं ना तो ऐसे फिर आपको पता है बहुत बेइज्जती होती है सुनो 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 मैं मैं तुम्हारा वीडियो लिंक भी जो बनेगा ना वो मैं तुम्हें भेजूंगा Okay, so let's do like this. We gonna we uh, we're gonna give him right now. Um, we're gonna make video that he picked up that this cash. We're gonna get uh, his cell phone number. We're gonna exchange cell phone number, and we're gonna wait until yeah. he's gonna meet with the main guy. Yeah, take take his cell phone number. Take all the cell phone numbers that yep. he's talking to means uh, the talking. Uh, he's talking to a guy that he's not with whom he's gonna meet. Okay. Well, here's how here's how we're gonna prove it. Okay, listen to these. All right. Here's here's what I think we should do, uh, Andrew. If 
you're telling the truth, and you are willing to help us. Again, this is all up to what you're willing to do. Yes, but I'm here's what we can do. If you're willing, if you can continue on. That's the deal, bro. Tell your, it's a yes. deal. Yeah, you're going to tell your, your boss or whatever that you got the money, everything's fine. Don't tip him off. And if you do, we're going to know about it and we're just going to expose you, okay? But if you can take this to the end and you can keep in contact with us, text us, and we'll meet or have some way you can get him face-to-face -face and we'll confront him, then we'll blur you. We'll keep you out of this entirely and put all the blame on him. Yeah. But we got to know who's in charge. We got to know who's... We need to find is. this guy above you that's, who hired you. That's what okay, so why don't you take his number? But uh, I'll tell you I just got a limited number of days. I have a 15th flight and my family function. Hai. So I have to go to the 15th. My brother is also a cousin from India. We didn't have to go to any of us. We have everything. Why don't you go to the next one? Why do you go to the next they go on you, right? No. So my cash, what do I do? My cash, I'll take it. They'll 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 take it. they Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna send you a text message. Can I get a glass of water, please? Sure. Yeah. Um, you can pick up this stuff. And you can. I told him everything. Well, we're gonna see about that. We're gonna see about. If we can that. see this through and catch the grill guy that's in charge, then it's gonna be good for everybody. There you go. He's gonna text you now. Keep him posted. Uh, we'll give him the envelope and uh, a little yep. bit, a little and bit we're gonna this, follow the money. All this cash is fake, so it doesn't matter what happens okay. to this cash. What about your cousin? He lives here in America? No, sir. He, he is uh, just 19, 20 years old. We came for a cousin's wedding in uh, Moreno Valley. Which valley? Moreno Valley. Moreno Valley. Moreno Valley. Okay. And when, when, are you, when are you going back to your... Side. So we, are going, we have a flight on 15th evening. On June 15? To Washington. Okay. Yeah, so because they have a reception, the wedding is already done. And how did they find you through Facebook group? Uh, yeah, Facebook groups. Not Telegram, no? No Telegram, on Facebook. Facebook. On Facebook. I keep posting my pictures, all those things. So this guy, you know, he called me up and he said, you know, can you do this? You know, he gave me a little bit of things like, uh, you know, what are you doing? You're going to Las Vegas I, because I had plans to go to Las Vegas today mm -hmm. with my cousin. You know, so I'm not you know, if it busy. wasn't for us, you would have committed an international crime. Sir, a felony. Sir, that, that's what I, because I am new here, I don't know the rules and regulations, and I'm coming for the first time. But it's you not, also have to use your head. If some not, random person online tells you to go into an old man's house and take their $23,000 out of his house, come on. I mean, if you were told to pretend to be FedEx. Isn't that a red you flag? You were told yeah. to know yeah. about Microsoft. Yeah. I mean, that's are, is it, are you just that desperate for money, or did you just not think? No, I just did not... Uh, Pay that much Show me the messages with this guy. I think the sooner, if we're going to do this plan, the sooner he leaves and talks yeah. to his point of contact yeah. is the better. Yeah. I just want to say this. Yeah, pick up the address. That's customer's yeah. name, Chris Hammer instruction. Please confirm package from FedEx. That's it. Vlad. Package pick up 1 p.m. Tuesday, total month 23, Chris Hammer. Vlad, remember with Dominic how it took so long yeah. and that was the problem? Yeah. I think we should send him on his, let right. him go, do his thing. Please text Vlad the time and place and be face to face with him and we'll be there just ignore if you see us just ignore us and we'll handle the rest all right all right if we can capture this guy that's really guilty you will you'll be completely anonymous in all of this all right, all right. sounds good who is ace jenkins is that your cousin all right sounds good um can i get the number for that uh, I, the homie i was talking to we we're gonna we'll, give you a okay, number. We'll, we'll text it to you. We'll text it to you. Uh, so right now, use can... use his phone as your point of contact. Okay. You might save your f***ing life and not go to prison if you're gonna deliver everything. So we're gonna I send him a video. I will, to send yes. Video. Yep. I will give you all the informations that I have. It is just that I am not. I was even not you know trying to do it, but I just got into a little bit of uh, what we greed mm -hmm. that you know 
something. Hey, you know, happened. that's the first time I've actually heard a money mule say that I was greedy. And so at least you got that respect. So see, help us see this through and this will be better for everybody. All right. You have a fake gold chain. You have Apple Watch no, and you, it's, and you, it's and original. yeah, yeah, original. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm not that poor. Well, exactly. That's my point is you have a gold uh, key, uh, gold chain, you have an Apple Watch and you have like very expensive uh, iPhone. Why would you need that $500? Yeah, but I did not think of, I got greedy. That's what I'm telling you to be truth with you. I'm not lying. What do you do for a living in Canada? I work in a construction job. Okay. Right. I, I am living there from like two, two and a half years. Okay. I came from the India. And you know the, the study there and everything. Okay. And then I we're gonna follow you out. Uh, I'd like to see the car you're getting into and the plates number. It's Kia. Yeah. And so okay. We're gonna record it. Let's go record yeah, it. Just uh, a one favor because I have my cousin and uh, he's uh, younger. Very okay. Younger. Well, so if in case he gets to know that, you know, it's getting it's getting into the, the well, he's old enough to into the family and everything, and it's gonna be shameful for me. So please. Well, you know, you well, we're going to keep everything. If you're going to keep up with your word, we're going to blow you. But if you're not, if you're going to betray I mean, us... I will. I will. Why, why will I not? Because I don't want to get into... I mean, of course, because you got busted. That's, that's why right now it's the only one way to save your ass. It's actually to work with us. All right, yeah. let's go see, uh, let's see your car. And uh, we're uh, going to send you video. And then you're going to meet with this guy. Don't, don't uh, you know, tell anything to my cousin. No, we're not going to tell him. But don't tell us what to do. Let's go. Go get in the car okay. and we're going to go. I think he should take the envelope and a little bit of the cash, right? Because okay. he's got to have you it said, in person. You said you're going to make a video or something. Yeah, we're, we're going to make a video. Well, so if we're giving him the envelope, we won't be able to make a video. Make it for me? Like, uh, can you My hand is f***ed, so I, I need no, someone No, we're to... going we're gonna to do this as soon as you're going to leave. But when we're he shows up to the meeting, he needs the envelope in his hands. We need to save some, though, for later. I wouldn't give him that much. Yeah. The darker ones? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Put the hundreds on top and yep. give that to him. I'll put some fine. And we'll text you a little video of, you know, um, whatever. We'll, yeah. Yeah, if you can make a video, I'm yeah. going to send him. Yep. The one that you said. Yeah. Because he will ask me. Okay. Of course he's going to ask you. Me, yep. Uh, send me a video. So I'm going to send him the video for this. Okay. The same video that I send him, I will send you. Or I send you first. Mm -hmm. If you say yes, send him, then I send him. Yep. Yeah. Or we you see that he's copy when you send the video, you have to well, either... Well, he wants us to make the videos. We're, so we're going to make yeah, it. Yeah, right. because I don't right. have an idea. Okay, or sounds good. You can send him. You can make a video with your phone. Just don't show him any of this. Maybe the backside is better. I but trust, I trust us. Okay. Internet. Yeah. All right. Fine. We're going to send you everything. We'll send you the video. All right. In the next 10 minutes. Right. So I keep this? Yeah. Keep that. All right. All right, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you shouldn't be sorry to me. You should be sorry to all the no, it's my old grandmothers and grandfathers that are having their lives ripped apart over these cans. I never know that. Well, now you, yeah, you learn something every day. These things does not happen in Canada. That's not true. They target everybody. Canadians, Australians. Uh, I have never seen anything so such happening. No, you haven't seen anything because they're all shit happening here in America and you're participating in this. Inder, can I ask you a I question? Just when, when this old man opened the door, what, what was going through your head? Honestly, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I had to go to Las Vegas, so all uh, was that I, you know, take this and complete this and go there where I have to go because my cousin, he is coming from India and uh, being his big brother, I had all the responsibilities for him. He probably like, let me make the 500, I'm going to go to Las Vegas and I put everything on red. No, not like that. I already have money, sir. But when you saw I mean, him, I, mean, I, mean, I already had plans going, so... You had no problem with the yeah, fact that I was an old man. Giving you 23,000. You were from FedEx. I mean, what was going on in your head? You did, you knew... I just did, uh, followed the instructions, you know, that he said you just have to tell them that it's from FedEx. Well, the rest of the day will dictate uh, yeah. how true that yeah. is. So I think you should... All right. Should Proceed. off and do yep. the rest of this and go from there. Oh, so. yeah. well, we'll find out. We have his face, so... So we're like, okay, let's catch a boss. This is money. Go take a picture, send to your boss, meet with him, and we're going to go and bust this guy, your boss, and we're going to keep, you know, like your identity private, right? You want to help us. You want to make it right. You lied to us that you fat eggs delivery and uh, work with us. You want to call him? Where is he? No, 
Where well, did you guys don't park? Call him, uh, just don't tell him anything. No, I'm not going to tell him anything. What, what's happening? Yeah, it's alright. We're just friends. Yeah. You have only one chance to get out from I, this mess. I will give you everything, whatever okay. you want. We need that guy. We need that guy who is above you. That's it. You can be set free. But if yeah, it's not going to happen... Rental car? It's, it's a rental car? Yes. Okay. Which car is it? The one? That one? Yeah, Kia? If you want, you, uh, you do. Or I give you the picture of that. No, it's okay. I don't need it. Here we I will text you with the instructions. So, uh, I will leave. Can I take your Right. They will text you. No, I'm not going to shake your hand. Sorry, sir. No, I'm not going to shake your hand. Okay, you can go. Go, go. And I'm going to send you a video right now. So you can send that video to, uh, to your boss. Set a meeting and we're going to be there, okay? And tell us location where he wants to meet with you. The place where I'm staying, he comes there. We we available we available all day all night. So we just need time. Just say like, hey, I have cash. Come pick it up. That's it. And we're gonna be there waiting. Okay. Just give us the address, okay? All right. And I'm gonna text you right now with a video. You saw them, right? Yeah. Snooping around. All right, so I got the plates number, everything. Is that them there? That Kia, car? all the way over there on oh, the left, okay. Kia. So right, let's, let's do this inside. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Post thoughts, um, successful, bust, another mule off the streets. Same bullshit. it'll be, he's telling the truth or he's not. It's, it's like, we're not, we don't have a lie detector and we're not police. So we're, there's, there's no conclusion that's gonna be drawn right now in this moment. The only thing we can benefit from this is seeing if he is able to get us to his higher up, which turns out to be local again, which is great. So we'll see. At the minimum, he's got the shit scared out of him and probably won't do this again. Um, and it was kind of funny. Part of me wants to believe him, but that's just, I guess I'm just too trusting and too believing of people. So we'll see what happens later. Dude, this is crazy. This is insane. So, who is this guy? We had no idea that this guy showed up. Wow, nobody knew that. So, Con I mean, Connor. I mean, but yeah. we yeah, we didn't know it was like split crowds I'm or so like. I'm glad that Connor was sitting over there. On yeah, side. wait, keep, the call. keep going through the footage because I want to see like what I captured when he when the guy actually showed up at the door. Come to find out, somebody pulled up, parked in the driveway like a cocky ass, came to the door. Suddenly he became less cocky because he, he, he left, got in, back in his car, and he drives past this other mother f which is the one that actually ended up coming to the door. So to this day, we don't know if they were working in conjunction with each other. Maybe one was a lookout. Um, yeah, because I feel like this in. guy just came out of nowhere, dude. Like they parked. Yeah. Is that him? Yeah. yeah. So like, where did he come from though? That's what I don't... Is that the, the Kia. Kia? He came Kia. from the Kia yeah, right there. He came from oh, this Kia, fuck. and that's the same spot where he left. Mm -hmm. That was exactly you see. Well, that's Kia. That when he was sitting in here. Dude, I wonder if the boss sent two different mules to the house. Yeah, it's very possible. I wonder if they know each other. That's what I'm wondering if he knows the you know, other like, guy. There is a one killer, and there is second one is cleaner. The one if you did not do your job, the second one. <laughs> the cleanup guy, you, yeah. The cleanup guy. He kills you yeah. and the and yeah, the, exactly. the mark, the, the original mark. Locked? Is that what you're saying? The door's locked out front. I don't think so. so. Right now, the door's wide open. Yeah, the door was open. And oh yeah, because the uh because uh, Agent Sixty Nine told me he would like leave the door open. This is so strange. This so you busy. left the do you left the door open yeah. for the other guy, and then this guy shows up. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, and we made eye contact what? right before he stepped in. That's why I told him to this, come on This in. guy? Yeah. But so I, you never even saw the, the Asian dude in the no. Mercedes? I never saw anyone until this guy walked in the house. Dude, this is so strange. It's a strange. mind f Yeah. It never happened before. Holy shit.
that could have been way more dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I was, was I, I personally, the under the bed, but I, I personally <laughs> was ready to go to the, through the side door mm. because when we go through the camera, if he's gonna start to uh, run, or run, yeah. so I will caught him before he's gonna enter the. Did you see the fucking name on his phone saying "guaranteed cash yeah, paid"? It's that's a call, it's so a group, it's bold. A group. On. That's so bold to have that as the contact name. Put grandma oh, or something. It's the name of the group. Though. He just yeah. like he says. I I have no idea who's this guy. What? Who said that? Uh, uh, Andrew. Andrew. Andrew said Ender. he said I have no idea. Dude, that's fucking. Sure. Okay, so well then that guy could still be lurking. Unless yeah. he caught wind of what if he's unless he saw everything right. that just went I mean, down, he but he probably did. But what the f so call center is sending multiple two multiple cash mills. Yeah. He want, Andrew is still waiting for our answer about the gift cards. So I what do we he said he's asking me to buy more orders from gas station money orders. orders. Money orders. Money oh orders. yeah. With the money we just gave him, is that yeah. what he's yeah. trying to do? Convert yeah. it? Well can you say and then he wants to meet you after? Because if that's the case, he can just pretend like he has money orders. He doesn't need to go get anything, or get a money order. Yeah. Get a money order for ten dollars and just mm -hmm. I don't know. Now, if the other mules saw any of this, the boss will know. Yeah. Right. Which yeah. is maybe why he blocked Agent Sixty Nine already. Oh. The so boss the, did? Uh, Agent, I just last time you were yeah. on the phone with Agent Sixty Nine, I said record the call if the boss calls you. Mm -hmm. and he's like, you already blocked me. Oh. Yeah. Which could have been because Andrew he was in here for so long, mm -hmm. or the other mule saw everything that happened. I think I think that scam boss sent Ask. two different mules. Okay, he's calling me, Who? Okay. Andrew. We stayed connected with him. He was talking to um, I think on WhatsApp, and he talking to his boss, sending pictures, and then maybe 20, 30 minutes later, he replied to us and he said, "Hey guys." My boss wants that I will go to gas station to start going to uh, Target, Best Buy, and start buying gift cards. Andrew, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, he's uh, call, been calling me. He's saying, you know, he's buy money orders from different different stores. For the okay, for these twenty three thousand dollars. Don't buy a hook for. Don't buy it for much, but uh, go and buy eight hundred dollars from a store, from a gas station, or some place, from Walmart or other places. But I don't have. I've never bought it. I don't know what it is. So he wants you to buy a bunch of small money orders from different locations. Yeah. And then what time are you supposed to meet him? No, he did not tell me that. He said you do this, and I will tell you what needs to be done next. Can we send a picture of him when he order? Yeah, but the problem is, is that's going to take him time. If he's supposed to go to 69 different stores and get 69 different money Yeah, orders. he cannot go like in one. Because you see, they're splitting that $23,000 between so all these targets, yeah, Best yeah. Buys, gas stations. So he's trying to spread that money so it will be untraceable. Mm -hmm. When uh, have, you, have you ever, Andrew, uh, meet, met this guy in person? Andrew, is there any way that you feel like you could take more control of the situation and tell him that you have to be somewhere later and you just have to go give him the cash? And... Yeah, I told him. I told him that I have to go to Las Vegas. So he said, you just, you know, you buy it, buy some of them today, buy some of them tomorrow, and uh, now you can go. You, you can leave wherever you want to go. He sent me that. So he's trusting you that you're not gonna run away with this twenty-three thousand dollars, okay? What if, like our previous uh, cash mill Dominic, he say, "Hey, I don't feel comfortable with this. Just take this money and leave me alone." Maybe yeah, we can play yeah. this card. Andrew, if this is really your first time, then there should be no reason why you can't tell him. Like, this is sounding a little sketchy. Can I just give you the cash and go? I don't want to be part of this. I, I can say that. I can say that, and whatever he says me. I can let you, know. you know, maybe threaten to return the money if he doesn't give you an option. Like say, you have to go, you have a family thing, I don't feel comfortable with this. I came for the wedding and right now there is old man giving me hanging. Um, and did he tell you before that you had to do all these errands or he only told you this right now? Right now. Okay, so then he can't expect you to be available for all this. After I send him the video. Yeah. After I send him the video. Tell him you don't have time. Yeah, he says, he says, if you didn't know this ahead of time, then... Yeah, that's, that's what I told him. We'll tell him again that's and him. and threaten to br bring the money back. You need to tell him what's up. You're in control right now because you have the cash in your hands. So 
I would tell him that you don't have time, you don't feel comfortable with this, and say, if, if you don't give me instructions, I'm just going to give the money back to Chris. And then if that happens, come back to the house and leave the envelope here, and then we'll, we'll, take, we'll take care of the rest. Yeah, that's true. So the... Um that the owner would not feel that he got, uh, you know, yeah. steal the money. Well, we he can bring that money back. What we don't want, uh, Andrew, is for your boss to think that you stole it. So tell him, meet me soon, and I'll give you the cash, or I'm going to return it. Yeah. You know, if, if this really is your first time, there should be no issue with that. Dictate uh, dictate the rules. So you're in control of the situation. Just in case, just in case he says that you return it. Then come back to the house and return it. Yep. Just say like, you know what, if you don't want to pick up this money next one or two hours, I'm going back to this old man house and I'm, I'm going to leave it on a perch. I don't want to be part of this. Let him, let him be worried and stressed. Okay. Okay, send that message right now and uh, let us know what he uh, replied to you. It's very possible that whoever Agent 69 was in direct contact with in this mule group for hire was coordinating something even more elaborate. Whatever guys worked under him had sent two separate people, and we don't, still don't really know why. It's, it's quite terrifying when you think about the fact that this could have been a real old person living alone. Text him, tell him you're not cooperating, this wasn't our deal. Okay, he texted me, my brother is calling you on this number. Please answer this call. He wants to speak to you once. Oh, shit. The younger? Yeah. All of a sudden, there is incoming phone call. But then he kind of just went dark. He stopped texting us. He wasn't willing to help. I'm sure he called his brother or his family and panicked uh, because then his brother called us. We got a, in a, a glorious phone call from Canadian Jesus. Just roll the tape, you'll understand. Yeah, this is Vlad speaking. Yes, how are you? None of your business, what's up? Okay, it's not none of your business, well, I'm telling you, why are you texting the guy? You keep texting him. Who are you? Intro introduce yourself. This person is innocent. He even don't know what's going on. He just been over there, now he's crying on the phone with me. That this for these people threatening me. Are you, are you that little bitch who drove the car? And brought that cash mule to my house, are you that little bitch? No, sir, no, 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 no. So then, who the f are you then? I have so many benches calling me every day, so uh, identify yourself. Who are you? Which bench are you at? I understand. I'm Andrew's brother. You're Andrew's brother, okay, so why didn't you say so? So you are that little bitch who drove the car, okay? Mr. Andrew's brother, what is your name? No, sir, no, 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 sir, no, no, no. This guy is an innocent guy. He's still listening to you. He's still doing what you want him to do. But the other person, he's sitting over here, now he's not answering our call. He just screws this guy just for $500, telling him the fake story, and put all the things in the situation for no reason. This guy even don't know what's happening. Well, well that's a, a beautiful fairy tale if I was born yesterday. Well, where is my cash? Where is my, where is my cash? Your brother told me that he's going to deliver cash in 30 minutes. It's been 45 minutes. No, there was no cash. There was, you don't get nothing to them, you just gave them something. Fake papers or whatever, the guy is very innocent person. Innocent? Yes, sir. It's like going to a whorehouse and said like every single one of you are virgin. <laughs> no, if, if he didn't know anything, why he will corporate you? The people who are doing this shit, they don't talk to you no more. They set the phone right away. But this person is innocent, or he's still with me. He's telling you everything true, like this happened with me. Okay, so if everything is true, why did he come back and bring the cash that I give it to him? I give him a cash, right? Where is that money? No. Okay, I answer your question. It was not known, but it's a trap, and they're doing something wrong with you. He was not knowing. Now he knowing everything, because all the story. Yeah, because he got busted. Now that's why he's knowing, because he got busted for f international crime. He's a citizen or whatever, he lives in Canada. He came to America, came to California to pick up cash from a victim, from stolen money. He's a cash mule, you your innocent you whore brother. Sir, he's an innocent guy. You, if you want to go to the law enforcement, you go. I'm not going to stop you, but I'm telling you, you just want to put someone in a situation that is innocent. That's all I say. Your decision, you're going to take decision. We can't change the decision, but I'm telling you, he's the wrong person. He is an innocent guy. That's all I'm going to And this f face, he was like, hey, uh, I just want to let you know this guy has nothing to do with it. 
this is number of the boss, talk to the boss, we already told the boss, we didn't want to be part of this, f off, and we just want that you guys would not release these videos and anything. Um, I was like, who the f*** are you? Who, who, who are you? Okay, so your innocent whore guy, he's not coming back, right? So you're trying to say he's like, uh, he's not coming back. He's scared, good. Good, so he's crying on your shoulder right now? Give him a diaper or something, I don't know. Uh, he's not with me, I'm a fool. He's from nearby you. He's never me? Okay, I, I can open the door. I can come by myself. I need my f***ing cash back. I spent 20 bucks on this, on fake cash. Give me that money back. You owe me. I spent $25 American. I can tell you, the car had to send you your $35, but the thing is that, I'm telling you, if you're really using your brain and trying to catch these people, these people are f***ing full on the Indian. No f***ing way, Columbus. I thought it was Italian. I thought it was Sicilian Mafia, f***ing Columbus ass. I know that because we have f***ing investigation in India right now, you deep s***. I know it's in India. But there is people like your brother who are cash mules. Yo, your brother said that he's a greedy bitch. He's going to Las Vegas. He want to take $500 from elderly American and put everything on the red. And he said he was FedEx. Yeah, and he said he's FedEx, so he lied and lied and lied. But he's innocent, right? Okay, come to the door and give my 30, it's already 40 bucks, the price is going up. 40 bucks, you owe me for my fake cash. Bring me my cash back. I need 40 bucks right now. Okay, your money, we can request someone belonging to a petty family to send you anyhow, but the guy's not gonna come back because he now he knows what's going on. He was not knowing. He that. is afraid, he's afraid to go to prison because he's a traveler, he's on tourist visa, right. came to America. You are right, he's, yes sir, you are right. Of course I know I'm right. All this, all this crap, he was not knowing that's going to a thing. He was thinking, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do this job and I'm gonna get paid. But, yeah, that's the nature of a sting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got busted. That's the only way that he like, learned his lesson. He got busted if we, if it wasn't... Listen to me. If it wasn't... Buff, listen to me. Stop, stop like, I wish you're gonna talk the same the way you do Cunilingus. Non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. Stop talking like too fast, okay? Just listen for a second. Listen for a second. The only reason... Listen to me. You could do not for long. Not not for long. Remind me your name again. <laughs> I told you Andrew. Who is Andrew? Because the, the other f face was Andrew and you Andrew too? No, the guy Andrew, the one who you gave him the package, whatever you Right, I'm talking to you, what is your name? Unknown person. I'm telling you, my name is Jesus, sir. Jesus? Jesus Christ. Jesus, so Jesus and Andrew. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Wow, what a f***ing day. <laughs> I got innocent whore, and I got Jesus on the phone. And I know, you did the right thing, you were smart, and everyone should do like that, you are right. Uh, looks like Jesus, you live in America, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you live in America. Okay, so imagine, Im imagine, you have, you have uh, mom and dad, Yes, sir. You have grandmother, grandfather? I do. Okay, so imagine one day, uh, innocent Andrew came to your grandmother or grandfather when your grandfather is alone and will take $23,000 from saving and checking account. And this Jesus passing from Canada, it's, a, it's Canadian Jesus, but he's passing by, he's gonna go to Las Vegas, Sin City, he's gonna play a little bit Jesus and he's gonna leave. So imagine that Jesus took $23,000 from your uh, grandfather and went back to Canada. How would you feel? Would you call, would you call that uh, baby Andrew innocent? The, the guy was not even ready to go to Canada with the money. He had nothing to do with Yeah, of course, because he wanna put everything on the red in Las Vegas. He was, he said. He was just knowing only that he was keep $500. The rest money was turning into money orders. Different, different places. They told him, go to Walmart, only up $2,500, not more than that. <laughs> hey, I'll just start, 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 start. I, I, listen, I'm just falling asleep a little bit. I kind of, kind of like a little bit tired. I need a dick nap. Can I ask him yeah, a question? I, I, I have my partner who's gonna talk to you, have more patience. What was your name? What was your, what was your name? Yeah, Jesus. My name is Jesus. Jesus, okay. And your, is, is Andrew your older brother or your younger brother? 
Uh, he belongs to me somehow in the family. It's kind he of belongs to you? <laughs> this is Some of He's kind of like a brother to me. Well, he's he like... He said, no, this situation happened. So he just called me and said, bro, this happened to me. Okay, so, so you're not related so, to him. I asked the other guy, the guy asked you talk a lot. his money. I said, what kind of money? Well, okay, so now we know okay, it. all right. Okay, I get it. In the for my I understand. Money. I'm just, I, I just have a few questions. We can end this soon, whatever. But just please give me direct answers. I don't need a whole novel every time. I'm, okay, so you're not related okay. to him by blood, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Do you know him well, though? I know everything. I know these people Every because these people are my family. So okay. Very nice guy, okay. Very innocent person. Okay. All right. I don't need. A, I don't need more. I don't need a novel. Okay. So if you know him well, answer me this. And I don't, I'm not insulting with this question. It's a genuine question. Is he stupid? What? Is he stupid? Yes, he is stupid because he's doing this <laughs> for five hundred dollars. Okay. So then, why is the responsibility everyone else's problem except for his if he's the stupid one? You you do sir. What do you do? But I'm telling you one thing because the person. The guy even don't know what's going on. Well, we've already he's done what we're going to do. Excited. It's not about that. I'm just trying to understand why, first of all, he can't even confront us. Uh, and I'm, I'm, tomorrow, you talk too much. Tomorrow, you talk You talk yeah, a lot. You talk a lot. You talk a lot. You talk a son. lot. If someone misguided your son or your brother tomorrow, what you do? You have to say... Misguided? To because he misguided. This isn't some cheap karate lesson. He f***ing took instructions from someone he's never met over social media to go to an old man's house, lie and pretend to be FedEx, take $23,000 in cash, buy money orders, and then hand it off to some f***ing rando. You expect me to believe that he just got misled? You either have to be the dumbest f***ing an idiot in the world to do that or he knows I more than he's admitting and i have a f i have a feeling it's the latter and i also have another question i'm not done i haven't i've not said jesus jesus, jesus christ jesus, jesus christ even don't know what his money order what is even don't know what his money order what do you mean don't know his money order do you live under a rock is, is, he, is he a turtle what everyone knows what a money order is no he don't know what his even money order okay well i have never any business in this i'm telling you they told him to do it so he says how much money i'm gonna get in a money order Okay, so he does know what a money order is. If he asks how much money yeah, for a money order, then he knows what a money order is. When they teach him like that, so he's just following them. Yeah, because but he knew what a money order was. He didn't have to Google it. Like he knows what it means. I understand, but they told him go to Walmart and do this. Shit. So right. He was about but you just said he didn't know what a money order was. So that just kind of he just kind of disproved before your that, whole point before there. Before that, he was not knowing. Now they told him already, so he's oh. knowing now. So he got money so money order lessons, and then he was just going to do the money or okay. Well, my other question is, how come our contact in India already knows that this was a sting setup? Because we certainly didn't tell them. Sir, they are holding in both ways. They have more connection team. We don't know. Okay. But he put this guy in the situation, and now he's blocking our calls. Okay. They're calling him. Say, hey, what you did, but he don't want to talk to us. Okay. Because well, he's knowing what's going on. Well, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but the, the, the problem is, is that when you fuck up, even if you didn't know how badly you were about to f*** up, mm -hmm. it's still your responsibility, okay? He should yeah. be lucky. Yeah. Stop, just stop talking for 30 seconds, please. He mm -hmm. should be lucky that it was us and not a real victim that just had their life ruined and then would have filed right. charges for grand larceny against your brother and he'd spend the rest of his life in prison. Right now, right. we're just investigating and exposing to the world who is responsible for this? And right now, the only one with palpable evidence that's involved with nefarious intentions, intentions is your brother. And now he can't even face us face to face. It's not a good look for him. So I'm telling you this, and it's not a threat, it's not a thing, I'm just informing you that everything that we do gets reported to the federal agents that we work with. That's number one. And number two, we have, we have a large following, we have a media presence, and this is what we do for a living, is expose to the world the perpetrators of this fraud. And he's already been caught up in it because he's the one that showed up unfortunately for him. So the footage is going to yeah, get published uh, to the even, media. Even, uh, Jesus, even, sir, the footage, I'm even, almost done. Uh, I'm almost done. Just, just, I just. I will tell you, I will request you one thing because uh, I understand you did the smart job, but this person actually don't have any criminal background or nothing. Well, he's he, about to. to yeah. No, yeah, he, he, no, if you decide to do something, so that might Well, I'm not law enforcement, so I can't charge him, but the whole world will know. I'm what you are going to expose the person. I'm going to expose the truth, yeah. I'm going to expose the truth. I'm going to tell you not to because he's, a, he's not that of a person. And who are, who are you again? You're going to tell me not to, but who are you? I'm a Jesus, sir. Oh, okay. You, you, don't, pay, you don't pay my rent, though, right? Okay, if you, if you do, 
That's okay. It's yeah, just I'm going to. Because that's the thing. We gave him a beautiful, palpable way to prove to us that he's not full of shit. And not only has he not done that, but he's also now ghosting us, and he's called upon Jesus to fight, to fight his battles for him. So unless yeah, we can well, see he, him... He called me. He called me because he, he told me. I told him. He called me. He said, this happened, brother, with me. I said, well, what an answer to prayer for, for him. Well, here's the deal. Well, I, told I mean, him, I said, listen, man. If these people cooperating you, they tell them all story. They're going to understand. I told him already. Then he said, no, bro, they've been mad. You need to talk. Then I called you because he, he he's telling whatever you're asking him. He's exact same shit, man. Even if you f***ing feel him, it's not going to change because the real person will tell the real story always. Whatever happened with him. So he can also put the best charges on other people's because if something happened wrong with him, he's going to do the same things what you're doing to him. Okay. Because... Same story gonna come no, none, so, none of that, I, none of that yeah, made any so sense at all. I request you, if you have any younger brother or anyone in the family like him, just give him one chance so this person don't ruin his image. So to, you're trying to pull on my heartstrings of innocent younger siblings when I'm the very one here trying to protect the elders? That doesn't make any I sense. Know. We're journalists, okay? All I have to go on is what I have captured on proof in front of my own eyes. And right now, all other than a bunch of blabble and bullshit spewing from lots of people's mouths is the fact that your brother showed up here and he lied about who he was. He said he was FedEx and he knew damn well that he no, wasn't. No, he told him actually to do this. Okay, but I can, I can cross a hobo on Flower Street in downtown LA and he could tell me to go to the Pope and tell him that I'm Gumby's younger brother. It doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. Use your head, man. You gotta use your head. That's why I asked if he's stupid. Because he's either stupid or he's not telling us the whole truth. I don't need to. I don't need to listen to your anger. First of all, I simply talk to you with respect. I'm doing you a favor, mother. I'm doing you a favor by even talking to you. Don't tell me, mother. First of all, you respect your mother, right? So I don't want to disrespect your mother. To be honest, I told you. Okay. We are not the people who belong to this bullshit. Oh, okay. It's awful strong words coming from someone who is anonymous right now, where I am the one with the address where you could show up and actually do something. I talk to you very politely, and you just being mad at me. No, you're spewing a bunch of nonsense, and you talk too much. It is pissing me off, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm over you. I simply talk to you, but I didn't use the. Well, but yeah, but you're not even involved. You don't have anything to do with this. My oh, issues with it. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. I my family, sir. I have f***ing all right to be a part of my family. If my family going to travel, I will gonna f***ing bail him out. Go put him in the jail. I will f***ing bail him out. He's Go ahead. Well, you'll find out the bail when it's when it's posted. I don't. I don't. I don't choose the bail, so you don't have to yell at me. I don't choose the bail. The bail's usually the bail. The bail's usually set. The bail's usually set like when you're arrested and it's picked by like a judge. Like I'm not a judge, so it's not. It's not the time he making it. It depends on person history. If he's a criminal, he's not. He's just a. He committed a crime, though. Do you know what a definite? Do you know what a criminal is? You ever googled? Do you know what a criminal is? Do you ever googled the word criminal? Do you know what the criminal means? Do you know what the word is? I understand, sir, but it's actually what is it? Crime. What does it mean? non made intention. If something happened by chance, because this person is stupid, it, because, uh, and you don't know it's gonna happen. If I if I if I if I enter a, a gas chamber and I let a fart off so strong that it actually kills somebody, even though I didn't mean to or know that I had that kind of power, I'd still be taking responsibility for that loss of life. So your lack of know, knowledge has nothing to do with the crime itself. Go, even you guys can do anything at your property. I know it's a f***ing big trespassing. I know, he should not do that, but he don't know... It's not about trespassing, know. it's about theft. I know, I'll do it. And fraud. So... I know, whatever. Is there doing. anything else you want to say, other than you, this, that, brother, Jesus, I help me? I told you already, whatever. You, you believe it or not, that's your choice. It's not about believing, I just go on what I have, and I have the proof that so he's... Do, so then don't bother my guy, just do the follow the law enforcement and do this... Oh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna. That, that's what comes next. I was just giving your brother a chance to actually back up the statements he was making. Why are you testing him and Just go to the law enforcement. Because we're just, we're just, it's not a threat. We're just telling him we're laying our cards on the table. If you want a real person, we are giving you the number. You must not be married. You're not a very good listener. You don't want a real person. You just want to be smart ass. Oh, I'm so smart. I did this. Oh, okay. You've entered the, the Benchode sphere, sphere, and I'm, I want you to come down like below the stratus. Fear. I can't understand. Okay. You doing this? You're just an innocent person. Okay. I can't. I don't speak noodle. You got to sl talk slower because I don't know what you're saying. Uh, I'm, I this is not a threat. This is just laying our cards really out on the table. Doing, if you're really doing this for a thing, 
If you want yeah. to do a sting, do a proper sting. Go to the root. Oh, so you do you know how to do stings? Do oh, sh we should collaborate. Where's your channel? Well, you have. You're telling me. Well, you're just telling me. You're telling me how to do a sting properly. I'm just curious where 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 your qualifications are. Do you have like a badge? Do you want, did you print off? You could at least print a badge off one of those plastic badges. You know, at least like you know. I don't know. I'm just wondering where your qualifications. The person is very nice, fucking good, and I you just threatening him, keep testing him. You know threats? Fifteen minutes. You have no. This Fifteen minutes. Threatening is placing a time and place for violent action or retaliation. We're not doing that. We're laying our cards out on the table. We're just saying, hey, we're here. We're going to publish what we have. We're just trying to give you a chance to back up your claims. And okay, he hasn't been able to do that. If you decided it, if you decided it we, we should stop talking. Go ahead and do it. That's fine. I mean, you you the one that called us. Oh, now he hung up. I need my $50. <laughs> A glorious testimony from Jesus. Wow! <laughs> so we talked to his brother, and look, like, it's the same sh Instead of this guy wanting to help us out anymore, the brother was, was being the official representative. And, you know, we had fun with this conversation. At this point, there's not much else we can do. We can't... We can call the cops on him, but nothing's going to happen. He's not even here legally. We've already tried the whole illegal immigrant route. That doesn't work. You, you, you not even f***ing belong here. You're all the way from Canada. You f***ing tourist. You came on a, on a week vacation, and while you f***ing enjoying your vacation, your wedding, you f***ing reap American citizens, and then you're gonna go have fun, bachelor party in Las Vegas, and then you're gonna f*** off back to Canada? I was like, no, not gonna work, f*** you, and we're gonna release a footage of your relative. As we've said, we have to adapt. These scammers are adapting. They usually don't want to use the mail anymore. They want to go right to a, a gift card or a wire transfer, usually to an international bank account. And uh, once those options are no longer feasible, then they'll, hey, I'll send an agent to your house and have them pick up the money. Again, we tried to catch a person above cash mule. And this time, you know, he got his chicken legs. He chickened it out. At the end of the day, you know, we can bust, we can confront but we can bring awareness that nowadays that scammers, when they're gonna pretend to be Microsoft, they can pretend to be uh, uh, PayPal, Norton, whatever. They send freaking criminals to your door, lie to you in your face, pretending to be a courier from FedEx, UPS, pick up cash from elderly person and go back. And it's just, it's just mind blowing what happening every single day right in your face, right in your neighborhood. And uh, again, all we can do, we cannot arrest, but we definitely can bring this publicity and put this on the internet. There's nothing we can do other than what is in our control. I say this every single time. What is in our control is awareness and taking mules out of the circuit. We have no power in prosecution or, or putting handcuffs on these people or holding people against their will. What we can do is scare the shit out of them from ever doing this again. We can remove them from the circuit. That's one less person that'll be going to your grandma or grandpa's house to take cash from and get as much information as we possibly can despite the intense circumstances at hand. Thank you so much for watching. When we blur scammers' faces on this channel, it's to protect the channel not the scammer. You can watch the uncensored and extended version of this video over on our very own streaming platform, Trilogy Plus. It's an ocean of original content from Trilogy Media and friends, and gives us a place to upload our content the way we want to make it. You can get the app from the Play Store or App Store, or simply visit TrilogyPlus.com. And promo code SUMMER50 still applies for six months at half price. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.